Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and uh, welcome to this new uh, video course on uh, Goals app and in this app we're going to be uh, building out this um, beautiful uh, Goals app uh, which is basically a uh, uh, an app uh, to keep track of your goals and uh, there are some specific goals that I want to target within this course. But before uh, I talk about like, you know, the specific things that we're going to cover in this course, let me go ahead and uh, give you a quick demo of uh, what this app is going to look like. OK, so uh, first of all, um, this app is going to uh, have this uh, home screen which is going to have categories of uh, goals. So you can have like, you know, motivation goals, work goals, social gig, global, personal. Uh, if you want, you can add uh, some new goal. Um, uh, let's say uh, I want to go add goal for Apple or hobby. Actually, that's better. Uh, a goal for my hobbies and uh, or basically a category this is just a category okay I'm gonna select a due date by which I want to accomplish these goals and I'm gonna choose a color to better um, sort of represent like you know the card that I'm actually picking up so I'm gonna choose a fun little color right here there we go okay let me make it a little bit like that okay and uh, we can choose some emoji to represent. So I'm just going to choose this. Okay. And uh, we can add some uh, goals. So I'm just going to say hobby goal one just for demo. Um, this so happens whenever you're demoing, you don't come up with something really creative. So I'm going to come up with this thing. Okay. So I'm going to save this goal. And there we have it. Our hobby is added into the goals list. And we have like, you know, certain goals in there. And um, you can go and check out these goals. So look at these goals. Um, you have actually created them. And you've also like, you know, added those. And there's a due date on it. And uh, like, you know, our emoji is showing up. Our nice uh, card, uh, like, you know, nice uh, navigation uh, bar is showing up. And I can add some more goals. So I'm just going to say hobby four, hobby five, just something. And I'm going to change that and save it. OK, now the data that's being saved is being saved inside the Firebase Firestore. OK, so we're going to be using Firebase Firestore and we're going to see how we can store our data uh, in the form where you have items and each item has its own collection. Okay. Um, like that, you're going to have like, you know, various different categories. And if you notice, all these categories have uh, their own color theme and stuff. All right. Now, let's say you accomplish some goals. You want to remove them. So you can just swipe and remove. And these entries are going to go away from Firebase as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull up uh, Firebase so I can actually show you. So there we go. So we have our Firebase. And as you can see, uh, you have your uh, stuff showing up right there. Okay, so we have like, you know, this is the hobby goal that we created. And we have like, you know, other work goals and stuff like that and their icons and stuff that's being saved. Okay. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and put it back and uh, let's go back into the app. So yeah, so you, got, you have accomplished some goals and you just got to remove them. And you go back, your data is updated and is reflected on your main screen. So that's uh, one thing you can do. Uh, so you already saw uh, that we're going to add the goal. You're going to remove goals, add more new goals and stuff. And uh, then uh, this is the fun part that I actually uh, uh, thought I'll just included it in this um, space is you can even update this list so you can remove the goals that you don't want anymore. So you can just click on edit and um, 
uh, we have like you know a fun little way to delete items that we want to delete so i'm gonna delete this gig one because i, I don't like the color so i'm just gonna remove that and then click on done and there we go we have our goals updated with the goal that we didn't need anymore we have actually removed that all right so that's one part the other part so let's go ahead and talk about like you know things that we're going to cover because i want to show you like you know the cool thing that we're going to actually be doing in this one so we're not only going to be learning swift ui but we are going to be learning about a whole bunch of things okay so what are those things well I created a small list that will actually talk about what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we're going to be learning about Swift UI. All right, we're going to be learning about Firebase Firestore, how to connect, use, how to use Swift Package Manager for dependency injection. And in this case, we are going to be learning how to include firebase firestore dependency using swift package manager we're going to be following mvvm design pattern to build out this app we're going to be writing modular code uh, so we can actually see how we can we can better organize our code for a complex app like this and you're going to see it's going to get really complex um, and then uh, we're gonna learn about repository pattern. So we don't wanna just like, you know, use our view models and start firing up our database calls down, down right to um, Firestore. We don't wanna do that. We want to leverage repository pattern. So if in case we decide to use something other than Firestore, we can actually use that. And I'm gonna take a pause from the list here and I wanna show you like, you know, how. So we're going to be building out a, a repository. Okay, so let's cover the next topic because that's related. We're going to be learning about protocol-oriented programming. And with the help of protocol-oriented programming, we're going to create a repository protocol. Okay, and then from that repository protocol, we're going to create a way where we can dependency inject our repository. So let me go ahead and run the app again. But this time I'm connecting a different repository. Okay. And you're going to notice the difference right away as soon as the app is launched. Okay. Now, in this case, in my case, I'm actually building uh, and running the app, but you can have your dependencies created using API as well. Okay. So now, in this case, I have a different repository that's actually created here and if you notice like you know if you don't notice right away the colors are different by the way the list is different like you know there are like you know various different things that we're doing the items itself are different but if you try to look at the functionality so work goal one the functionality stays the same so if I go here remove stuff go back there we go everything is getting updated if I want to add a new thing I can add a new item just like that and this time uh, once again the repository is different let me add some gig goals i'm just gonna leave it at that and there you have it our gig has one item now if i want to remove item or remove stuff i can very well do that and just click done and i have updated so now this set right here is running from entirely different repository so you're gonna see how just by changing uh, the uh, repository uh, you can actually change where your app is connected to and we're gonna be leveraging repository pattern and protocol rendered programming to do the dependency 
injection which is right here so there we go i'm back on the firebase connected repository and our list that we were we were earlier working on is back in here okay along with that you're going to be building out your own many components you're going to build out like you know utils and stuff like that but one that's going to be uh, that i want to highlight is emoji text field place where you can actually enter your own emoji so the text uh, the keyboard that's going to be launched is going to be emoji keyboard you're going to learn about the navigation style how you can apply theme based navigations and you're going to learn about this wiggle animation uh, this is like really fun animation to build so i had a lot of fun doing this one so i'm going to show you how I actually build that and you can build this one too okay and uh, and we're going to build a little utility that actually um the uh framework the ios framework itself or software framework itself lacks in terms of animation so we're going to build a little util that's going to help us achieve this animation right here okay you're going to build swift ui grid so we're going to learn how to build a grid and you're going to learn to mock data repository okay so like i said there's there's a whole bunch of things that we're going to be doing in this and uh, this is a high level list like you know along with this you're gonna do a lot of swift ui so with that said let's go ahead and hop on to the course and uh, learn to build this goals app all right so i'll see you guys in the course